Good day friends, welcome back to the channel It's Given from TechnoDrive. In today's video we've got the Growart inverter. This is one of the common inverters. I'm sure you've seen these inverters being repaired by us on one of the videos before. Uh, one of the common problems with this inverter is error 9, uh, which is caused by the main board. But this one is different. The screen is blank. So there's no error. The screen is blank. So the model number of this inverter is uh, SPF 5000 ES. So this is one of the common inverters on the market. So when I connect the power, there's nothing at all on the screen. Let me connect the power so that you can see what's happening. Okay, I've got our the power in. Uh, let's check the voltage with the multimeter to see how much voltage are we getting. Let me try and you can see our power is on there. There is our plus and the minus. Let's check the voltage. You can see that we are getting 51.4 volt. So that's okay. It's enough to turn on the inverter. So let's switch on. So the lights coming on there. Let me switch off again. So normally when you switch on the grow out inverter, if you've got the card with the light, the lights will come on and goes or go off to show you that it's receiving power. Let's turn it on. Just take a look at the lights there. This LEDs. You see there? It's on, then it went off. But here the fans are spinning and there's no display. There's nothing on the screen. So what what could have happened here? So when I check on the job card, it shows that the problem was lightning. So the customer reported that this inverter was damaged by lightning. So if the inverter is damaged by lightning, obviously it can affect the power board and also the control board. But looking at it now, it seems like the power board is okay because the fans are turning and the lights are coming on so the power is coming in so the control board could be the problem let me open it so that you can see the control board Okay, so where is the control board? This is the control board. This is the card that controls everything on the inverter. So you remember this is your MPPT board and the other one is a power board. So these ones uh, on the side here, these are for communication, the parallel connection, the BMS and all other things. This, this is just the interface for the BMS and the USB and the RS485. But the problem is could be on this card. So this could be the problem. So but before we can say that this is the, co the, the, the cause of the problem, we have to check all of the voltages. Yeah, you see that screen there, it shows us the voltages that we must get on the grow out control card. You can see that the first three points are your five volts. The next one are 12 volts, the other ones uh, ground, then minus 12 volts. Those are the most important uh, power lines that we need to check before we can decide if the problem is on the power board or the control board. So now what we are going to do is to check the power board because the power board is the one that supplies power to that control board that you see there. So the power board is the one that has to supply the 5 volts, the plus 5 vo 12 volts, and the minus 12 volts. So what I will do now, I'm going to remove the card from the inverter. And then we can measure on the board to see if we, 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 we really get that uh, voltage. So here is the card. 
and there is our comparison we can compare from there so let's remove the card okay, you can see that the card there it sits like like this okay there is our card so the points that we have to check here are these points here so you remember on the card on the or on the grower card these points on the center here these these are your power supply so those voltages that are marked there the plus 5 volts 12 volts ground and minus 12 are on these points here so you can see that we've got three pairs of uh, pins here this one it's your inputs so this is where you can read the voltage on the battery you read the current and all of the measurement that needs to be done with the, on the inverter so this is your power power line and this is your output it drives the MOSFET the IGBTs all outputs are coming on this pair so this is output DC and your input so that's why here on the inputs you've got these op amps they are there to compare and feed the output to the CPU okay so now we are going to check the 5 volts from the power board this is our first line that we need to check the 5 volts 12 volts and the minus 12 volts so if we've, we have those voltages then it means that we need to change the card or try and repair this card we're gonna see what is the best so there is our connection on the inverter okay you can see it means that this line here the first one here it's our 5 volts okay this is our 5 volts 2 pins 1, 2 is 5 volts and then we jump it to 12 volts 2 pins 12 volts and this is ground so our ground pin is there so now I'm going to switch on the inverter and then we can measure you, you will take a look at the scope and check the voltages there uh, on the multimeter then we can see if we are getting those voltages that we need to get on the card so now we are basically ch testing the power section board to see if it, it's functioning okay okay I've got the ground pin connected there and then I'm going to connect my first pin which is the plus 5 volts Okay, there. So we should get our five plus five volts there. You can see it measures with those three pins there, and the ground. So let's switch on the inverter and see if we we do have the five volts. You can see we've got zero volts now. There, we have five volts. So the five volts is there. So now let's check the plus 12 volts. We have to jump three pins. Okay, let's check the plus 12 volts. We jump uh, three pins. One, two, three. So the fourth one is our 12 volts. You can see there, we jump three pins. There is our 12 volts. Okay, it's okay. It's not stable because, yeah, there, the contact was not good, but you can see it's okay. Okay, we have just checked the most two power rails that we are supposed to turn on the card, which is the plus 12 volts and the plus 5 volts actually the one that turns on the card is plus 5 volts because the CPU works at uh, 5 volts 
so with those two voltages the screen has to come on no matter what when we switch on the inverter if the control card is okay since we have the 12 volts we've got the 5 volts the screen has to come on but we are not getting anything on the display so what does that tells us it tells us that the the problem here it's on the control board because the the power it is coming in but nothing no display so the other way to check this is to use the ohm ohm meter which is the multimeter then we check the resistance let's do that let's check okay I think the best is to check the capacitors. You see these capacitors? Let's check them. Okay, we've got mega ohm there. Kilo ohms. Kilo ohms. there there is our biggest problem you see this capacitor here it's shorted this one this capacitor is shorted this is not good so this is another way of checking see there so we're getting zero ohms so this is a big problem because the 5 volts won't go let's just zoom it in you can see it properly so you can see that on this capacitor here I'm getting a 0 ohm so the card is gone the card is gone the card is gone okay I've got a test card let's see I'm gonna bring a test card so that we can compare and see what we should get okay I've got the two cards so this one is the faulty card this is the test card See when I measure on this one, I'm getting kilo ohms, one kilo ohm. But when I measure on this one, okay, see I'm getting zero ohms. So let's turn it like this so that we can see properly. So this is the cap that is shorted. You can see that I'm getting zero ohms. So this one I'm getting some kilo ohms. I'm sure you have seen what you have uh, did to check this card. This is the card that is not okay. So the capacitor that's shorted is this one. These two capacitors are shorted out. So this tells us that the CPU got affected. Uh, so when you test with this card, there, there is no short at all. So this card is okay, but this one is not right. So that's why the fans are running. And there's no display at all so the other way to test these cards we can test it separately we just supply the the five volts remember I've mentioned that this card can turn on with only five volts so let's do that now I've got a five volts power supply I'm going to connect the five volts so that we can see if the what we've just measured is true okay so this one is a working card just going to connect the ground there 
and the plus 5 volts here. Okay, I'm sure you can see the light there. See the green light here? See that green light there? It tells us that, it tells us that the card is okay. It's green. So when I remove the power, see it's going off. Green. So this one is working. But this one, when I supply it with the 5 volts, I don't think it's gonna come on. Okay, you hear my meter, it's screaming there because it's over current. So it's drawing a lot of power because of that short circuit. And there's no light. So the card is gone. I'm going to connect the other card because we have to replace this card. There's no way that we can fix it. I think I've made a video before to show you the reason why we can't fix this card. It's because the, this CPU here, it comes with a program and we can't get a CPU that has got a program already. So we you just have to change the card. That's the only thing that we have to do. Okay. Then I'm going to install a new card. Then we can see how it goes. Let's test it now. There. The inverter is coming on. The inverter it's coming on. Let's see if there will be there we go, we've got two hundred and thirty volts. So the problem was on the card. The card it's the problem. Change this card and then the inverter will be okay. You have seen what we have to do just check the voltages and uh, make sure that you've got the voltages and check the resistance and be sure that when you change the card it is the card that's faulty so we've done that you can see the inverter it's running it's healthy now so the only thing was the card hope you like the video and hope to see you on the next one thank you for watching